Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, once again, Microsoft has started finalizing the next optional bug fix C release update that should be rolling out for Windows 10, KB5015878, and that should be in the next couple of days uh, before the end of the month. And the optional C release bug fix updates, as you know, as, and, and as I do mention on the channel, do roll out near the end of every month. So, that's currently available for testing in the release preview channel. And that's the closest version and build you will get uh, uh, to uh, the preview version before it rolls out to the stable channel, as mentioned, in the next couple of days. Now, that update is KB5015878, as mentioned. And that takes the build now of Windows 10, version 21H2. Uh, that build now is bumped up to 19044.1862. And currently, the latest... Uh, version and build of Windows 10 is 21H2 19044.1826. So when we get the update in the next couple of days, uh, that point release um, will be bumped up to that 1862 into that vicinity um, after that update has been applied. And um, this started rolling out to the release preview channel on the 18th of July, which was yesterday in my region. Now, some of the uh, bug fixes and um, little add-ons and there's two new features and we can expect to see um, uh, both of these rolled out for Windows 11 um, in the preview update for the optional update for Windows 11 so both Windows 10 and 11 will be getting these two new features and um, they've provided the ability for you to consent to receive urgent notifications when focus assist is on so that's basically as I mentioned uh, with the Windows 11 video that's a notification bypass and then they have restored functionality for Windows Autopilot deployment scenarios that are affected by the security mitigation for hardware reuse. And then just to look at some of those improvements and fixes quickly, in case you're interested, uh, they've reduced the overhead of resource contention in high input and or output operations per second, ROPS for short scenarios that have made many threads contending on a single file. Um, the, reliable, the reliability of a push button reset after an OS upgrade, uh, they've improved that. Fixed an issue that prevents troubleshooters from opening, that also rolled out for the Windows 11 preview update. Fixed an issue that causes certain docking stations to lose internet connectivity when waking from sleep mode. Fixed an issue that might cause consecutive video clip playback to fail in games that use uh, DXSets DirectX 12. And also another gaming issue here, fixed an issue that affects certain games that use the X-Audio APR to play sound effects. And then the final two, fixed an issue that might cause Windows to stop working when you enable Windows Defender application control with the Intelligent Security Graph feature turned on. And then this last uh, uh, bug fix is regarding the search box on Windows 10. They say fixed an issue that affects the heart of the search box. Uh, when you use multiple monitors uh, that have different resolutions as measured dots per inch DPR. So that's regarding the search box um, on a multi-monitor setup where the heart had been affected. So that issue uh, should be addressed with this update. So as mentioned, this update will be rolling out over the next um, couple of days, um, if not this week, uh, next week. And that's the next optional bug fix C release update we are expecting to get for Windows 10 KB5015878. And I will uh, leave a link to these release notes uh, in the description if you are interested. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.